Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming. And welcome back to our playthrough of Ultima V, Warriors of Destiny. In our last episode, we checked out Scarabray and we headed over here. Uh, and it is now time to check out this town located right here on this island, just southeast of Britain. I am going to guess that this is the town of New Bajincia. That is my current guess. Let us find out if I am correct. Nope, this is Buccaneer's Den. Well, just as cool. Uh, what's up, buddy? You see a scruffy, smelly man. What's your name, scruffy man? His name is Bidney. That's a pretty cool name. Uh, what's your job? I loves to drink. I loves to drink, too. Rum, that's me favorite. Hick, excuse me. Do you have any extra rum? Yo ho ho. Bottle of rum? That's... Um... No, I don't. Hick, oh. Alright. Cool. Hey, actually... Um... What do you know about Lord British? What do you know about Blackthorn? Uh, what do you know about the Shadow Lords? Nothing. Okay. You're just a drunken pirate. So what do we have here? We got a guild shop. Let's pull up the map like we're wont to do. Uh, again, I'm, I didn't think this was Buck's Den. I'm pretty surprised. Um, hmm. Here we go. Ooh, Buccaneer's Den doesn't have any second floors. So, doo doo. Here we have Buccaneer's Den in all its glory. A uh, couple shops. We got a, a place to buy food. We got uh, a weapon shop. They sell rings of invisibility. We already found one of those. Um, we also have an inn, a place to buy ships, and a guild shop. So let's walk around, talk to some pirates, shall we? See what's going on here in this town. Uh, first, the guild shop. You have to have a key to get into the... You have to have all kinds of keys to get into the guild shop here. Wow, now that is security. Good morning, matey, and welcome to the Nemesis. I am DM. Can I show ye our fine wares? Yes. I mean, for keys, gems, and torches, um, three keys are 259 gold. We get those as just random drops off, like, every single, um, every single troll I ever fought had keys. So, I mean, that's just silly. Uh... No, we're not going to do what I was about to do because I saw another way on the map to go around. Oh, we got some bookshelves and stuff to search here. There is a bed in here, but with so many keys needed to get in. That's just silly. Ooh, a tree. Nothing in the tree. <gasps> there were keys in the tree! Well, that was just an assumption on my part. Oh, we got a pirate up here. Walk in the streets. You see a swarthy pirate. I am called Sven. What's your job, Sven? I'm a pirate. What's it like to be a pirate? I. but once upon a time, I was a glass blower. You were a glass blower? Tell me more about glass. You used to make fine and wonderful things I did. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We never found Malik in Moonglow. We were supposed to ask him about glass swords. Hold on. Um, do you know about glass swords, you? I once tried to make glass weapons, but all my attempts failed. I have heard, though, of magically enhanced crystalline swords of great power. Uh, where would you find them? They are said to have been lost in the Serpent Spine by the captain of a great ship. Oh, I don't know what the Serpent Spine is. I think that's a mountain. Um, glass swords were lost in the Serpent's Spine by the captain of a 
of a great airship. Huh. Okay. Where can we get an airship? Airships sound like a heap of nonsense if thou wert to ask me. Why are they nonsense? Doesn't know. Okay. Well, interesting. Uh, weapon shop here. Uh, welcome to Buckner's Booty. Uh, let's buy... What do you got again? Leather helm, leather armor, dagger, main gouge, short sword, flaming oils, and the inv invisibility ring. Um, no, we don't want to look at any of that. I just wanted to confirm that my sources on your wares were correct. They were. Nothing in these barrels. Ooh, there's somebody up in there we got to talk to. Uh, what's going on here? Nothing. Nothing in here. Stop trying to lock us in. Grug needs to push the right buttons on the keyboard. You're the smithy. See a broad-chested, burly man. Alrighty. Well, Mr. Burly Dude, uh, what's your name? I am Thorkin. What's your job? I be a blacksmith. Can you tell me about being a blacksmith? I works metal for the rusty bucket on Buccaneer's booty. Um, what kind of metal? Iron. Can you tell me about iron? No. Um, how about British? How about Blackthorn? Why does Blackthorn... Oh, Blacksmith and Blackthorn. Same word as far as he's concerned. Okay. Um, do you know about the Shadow Lords? Nope. Okay. If you have in need of a smithy, give me a shout. Well, we don't. We, we don't need a smithy. Got the inn over here. It's your standard affair. In fact, we'll be staying here in a moment to speed time along, because... It's about to be nighttime again. Ooh, a bookshelf. Oh, nothing on it. Oh, well. And down here, another... Oh, same bookshelf. That wasn't very nice. Uh, let's actually talk to this guy. We want some... Yeah, yes. We want to rest. And we'll pay to sleep. The guy's name is Ransack. I don't know if I would trust... An innkeeper named Ransack. I don't know if that would be on my list of trustworthy people. Okay. Um, we've got a couple more shops to the north here. Here's the provisioners. We don't need to buy any food, but we might as well check his wine casks. Nothing. There's some food on the tables. We don't need to worry about that. And over here, we have the shipwright. Okay. Ooh. Hey, this just connects together. Hey, what do you know? So not much here unless you wanted to buy keys, it looks like. Um, there's not that... You know what? There's only a couple people to talk to. The last thing we should do is ask about words of power. Nope. And we should ask about dungeons. And we should ask about shrines. Uh, mantras... No, okay. So let's ask this other guy down here. Where'd he go? Where'd that slippery pirate go? Oh, he'll be out and about in a minute. Ooh, wait, you're new. <gasps> we got some new people that I missed. A feisty wench. What's your name? Tierra. What's your job? What makes you think it's any of the business? Okay. Um, do you know about Blackthorn? No. Shadow Lords? No. Um, words of Power? Dungeons? Shrines? Mantras? Lord British? You're worthless to me. Everyone's going to... Th oh, they must have all been in here eating, and I just didn't notice their sprites and chairs. So this is the feisty wench. Greetings, stranger. I am Lord Dahlgren. Oh, I don't know who Lord Dahlgren is, but I'm not Grigtar. 
I'm Grugtar. A pleasure. What's your job? Avast ye, mate. Surely thou dost know who I am, don't ye? Uh, no. Why, I am the most bloodthirsty pirate to sail the seas. What makes you bloodthirsty? Dead foes don't talk. Why are they dead? I've had my share. Okay. Uh, share? More than I can count. But today, I think I'll just relax and have a drink with Tierra. Aww, what do you know about her? Aye, she's a feisty wench. But give her a drink and she'll oft have a bit of news for ye. Aha! Watch out for them keelhauling sea dogs of that blackthorn feller. Alright, let's talk to Tierra. What if I say drink? Sure, I'll drinks with ye. If an I can't only find my glass. So you're missing your glass? I left it around here somewhere. Left it. Somewhere. I cannot seem to remember. So we need to find her glass. Talk. Glass. No. Okay. There's Sven. Who's this? Bidney. You see a large, impressive fighter. Rugtar! Greetings. Who are you? Oh! Tis I, Jeffrey, thy very old friend of battles past. Have the years treated thee well? Why, yes. Ah, that is good. I presume thou hast heard of our troubles? Yes. I cannot help thee with that. Um, oh. Uh, you want to join me again? So I join? Yes. I'm eager for battle. Thou, thou hast a room for me in thy party. Seek me again if you've got more space. Okay. Well, there's Jeff. We've missed him for a bit. Uh, who's this? You see a chubby old bard. Uh, what's your name, chubby bard? Scally. What's your job? Lickin' you might expect. Oh, likin' you might expect. I entertain. Uh, who do you entertain? Why, I is the best singer ear in this old town. Uh, what do you sing? Would she likes me to sing ye a song there, mate? Yes. There once was a pirate named David, so crotchety and misbehaved. And then one day, he sailed away, only to where he would not say. Okay, cool. Is that, is David a real pirate? A real nasty old bloke I hear. Why was he nasty? Aye, but I've also heard he was a great inventor. What did he invent? Some say he's made the strange tool to aid in navigation. What tool? I believe he called it a er uh um a sextant. Hey Sextant. No one knows just where old David's off to, but I've heard some speculating. He's running a lighthouse. I remember David. I remember him. He was angry. Hmm. David in a lighthouse knows of the sextant gonna have to go lighthouse crawling again it looks like but that's okay uh, no other interest in that we gotta find this lady's glass uh, we need to find her glass for her to tell us something but I don't see anything wait there's a weird spot on this map if we go all the way over here and down here now just find a hidden door. Wait a minute. This just goes to a fireplace. Why is this here? We can go in the front. Oh, okay. So you can use a bunch of keys to get into the guild shop. Or you can come around the back and you just have to use one regular key to get in. That makes sense. Well, I think we've talked to everybody. I don't think there's anyone we've missed. 
you... I don't know where your glass is, so until we find that, I have no idea what we're going to do. I don't think we can do anything with you. Well, we're only at 15 minutes. And we're right next to another town. Um, so let's check out this other place that is nearby. Right here. Maybe this is New Bajincia. In fact, I bet you it is because it has a moon gate. I should have thought of that. That the place with the moon gate would be the actual... Actual place. So let's get on our... Musically awesome ship. And there we go. Come around here. Park it. Uh, and I don't know if Bajincia has an inn. I bet you it doesn't. Because it's tiny. Uh, ooh, it's not tiny. But it doesn't have an inn, so we are going to have to rest real quick, wait for morning. Uh, yes, Grug can guard. Hopefully this goes by real quick. Uh, another seven hours. Of course, bats. Well, so much for wanting it to go real quick. Should have known better. Ah, uh, it's just... Can we just kill the bats real quick? I mean, they're honestly not that big a danger to us. Oh, let's see. Oh, maybe they're gonna be a danger. They're the danger we didn't expect, apparently. Oh, Julia, get out there and fight. Oh, Grug, come on, hit something here. Be an unexpected just death of the party to bats that we didn't even expect to come across. Come on, Grug, kill your bat. You're falling behind everybody here. Yolo's over here killing bats left and right, and you can't even get in a, get in a single hit. Bueno, you're fine there. There we go. Uh, Yellow, you're gonna have to come down and help, apparently. Hmm. Man, Julia only gets that one attack when she's in close. It just feels on cool when everybody else gets these two attacks. Although she does have a morning star, so it must look cool. Just visualize her swinging that thing over her head and bashing the enemy with it. Oh, wow. Shimino is in rough shape up there. Having a little bit of trouble, it looks like. May have to cast a heal spell on him if this keeps up. Come on, Grug. You can get there. Save Gweno from this bat that won't leave her alone. There we are. Oh, come on. This last bat's gonna do this to us here? Really? Alright. We'll just get everyone to come over eventually. There we are. Woo! That was silly. Alright, let's hold up one more night. Uh, Grug, stand guard. Oh, I rested way too long. 
Man, we're at 20 minutes. You know what? We were going to do this town today, but due to the current situation of our health, I think we will do this town on the next episode of Gaming with Grug instead. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry for the anticlimactic ending, but we will ask you to please tell your friends, like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.